Eradica we're going to follow the entire life cycle of the abalone from the one day old abalone that just hatched um, all the way up to adults that are ready to be sold. Um, so we'll follow that whole process but we'll also hit on some conservation efforts we're a part of and some land use history heritage farms. So with that we can kind of get started. Um, um, so within the first hour they start to divide and then within the first day they or within after a day they'll hatch into these little guys. Um, so these are what you guys will see on the slides. They're just little free swimming little dudes. Oh, so we have a whole micro lab where she just keeps them growing in the Oh my we're so excited. We're so excited. <laughs> So imagine this is like a little yeah. mustache, and then once they, if they drop down a little bit more, you'll see their two little eyeballs, 
You can actually see eyeball right there, eyeball right there. I think I see them. They're right there. Can they detach from the shell? Or is the shell no. part of them? I'm just a snail. He's off and give it a taste. Um, like I said earlier, we feed this to our intermediate stage, uh, but also to people. Um, restaurants will buy it. And it's also a really popular tropical fish food. Um, I've heard Tang's really like it, so we bring a bunch down to Los Angeles. Um, every Thursday we bring some down to LA, like hundreds of pounds of it for aquarium. Anyone else want to taste? For the yellow Tang's. It's pretty salty. I'll take a look. <laughs> see how it starts see how it starts at this tip and it's kind of so all those little ones that we saw were right <laughs> yeah. like this and then it starts growing out who hasn't held wow. it up on looks like this stuff Me. so one thing um Devin is really great at and, and what's kind of transitioned a lot of the way that they culture her background, she worked a lot with microalgaes before she came to the farm, and then she started experimenting a lot with microalgaes when she was at the farm. And so microalgaes are kind of like the most critical part of abalone culture because it's trying to get that magic combination in food availability when they are that that small stage. So all those, um, those babies that you, you saw floating around, um, that, that just hatched last night, they're not really eating right now. But once they start going into like their next stage, um, which is what, maybe like a month, three weeks? Oh, we settle in a week. A week. So um, they settle and, and before they go into those troughs, so you saw all those troughs in there that had like the, the, um, the plates and stuff like that? Before they go in there, they have this whole kind of recipe that goes for about like eight weeks, 10 weeks. I think it's like eight plus, sometimes longer, where they get all these microalgaes and they basically create this like magical meadow that's in, in those troughs. And it all starts, so Navicula is the first one. Navicula is, is not this very fancy algae, but this is kind of like the base layer. So if you think about like, essentially you're building like a big lasagna. And so the navicula is really the stuff that's holding it all together. And then you start adding all these different types of, of microalgae. So you have nanochloropsis and tetrasalmus, which are the, the two green algaes. 